I want to show how easy it is to make a custom avatar for, for Sansa uh, by editing the uh, avatar reference files. However, if you go to sansar.com, click on help, and uh, on this link, um, you won't find the textures uh, that go with the, the, the files. Uh, so, for what I want to show here, I suggest you click on Community and User Created Guides, and here you can find old avatar reference files with textures. And you can download either the male or female, and uh, what you get is uh, this ar archive, which I um, and zipped here. It has all the textures as well as the FBX. And you go to Blender and File, Import, FBX and you locate uh, where you extracted it. The first thing you want to do when you, down when you open any of the uh, reference files in Blender is right uh, click select the armature, control tab to go to pose mode and then you press Alt and R to reset the rotations. Uh, then I insert a, a keyframe. Uh, I can hide the armature for now. Um, so if, if you look here at the top of the screen it says that the avatar is uh, uh, the mesh is made of 63,000 triangles. Uh, in Sansar you can only upload up to 40,000 triangles for a custom avatar. So we need to take care of that first. Um, first thing though, I want to join the uh, body and the head because they really don't need to be separate. I press tab to go to edit mode, I press A to unselect everything, L to select the body, L to select the, uh, the head, and press spacebar and type um, remove doubles and that merged uh, that merged 34 vertices around the neck. That doesn't help much much for the try count, but now at least uh, this uh, body is just one skin. I want to select the eyes with L again by hovering the mouse isn't the mouse over. Um, the piece that I want to select and then I do control plus I to invert the selection so that now I I only have the nails and uh, the teeth and the tongue selected and I press space, space bar and decimate uh, and here to the left I left click and type 0 0.168 and now the mesh is below 40k so if I show the armature again and select it select uh, the mesh and export FBX Selected objects, armature, shift, select mesh, uh, deselect animation. And if I export this, I can import directly. So you'll say it's not very much of a custom avatar because it's the same thing. But uh, later I'm going to show you how to modify it. So I select this uh, FBX and I have to go to material settings because there is one oddity uh, it's that the body material is set to emissive and I don't know how to fix that in Blender 
but in the uploader I'll just uh, select st uh, standard instead and also the nails uh, you can't at present tint the, the the nails of a custom avatar I don't know why uh, you have to tint them now at upload so uh, let's give him um, green nails and upload import So there it is, it's just the, the, the reference files uploaded as a custom avatar. It's exactly the same as uh, as uh, the original, except that the nails and the teeth are decimated. But if you want to do a custom avatar, obviously that, that's not all you want to do. So um, maybe you want to, uh, I don't know, give him pointy ears for example uh, in that case uh, if you want to work on both sides at the same time you just uh, uh, enable X mirror and uh, and this on this little button here you enable enable proportional editing and if you select uh, one vertex here on the ear and you press uh, G and then without moving anything you just uh, mouse scroll until you see this uh, circle that's the area of uh, influence and uh, you move it and left click to, to apply so now you've got pointy ears now you're a custom avatar, and uh, what if uh, you want a different nose? I don't know. And uh, Sansar Avatar has got this uh, famous smile. Maybe you could counter it a little by. Uh, by moving these lower um, you could make more changes but I'm just showing the way so I'll stop here and uh, upload this again to see the difference uh, all the settings are still in place so I just export again and uh, import the same thing I still need to go change uh, uh, the colors and the color of the nails this time uh, red <laughs> and uh, change this to standard Okay, so now I have pointy ears. Okay, so you can take this further and uh, edit more of the body and s still uh, keep the textures. Or you can do your own textures, and that's what I'm going to show now. So, uh, but I'm going to use a software called uh, 3D Code. 
so if you're not interested interested in that you can just um, uh, stop the video right here uh, and uh, otherwise I'm going to show you how to uh, take the, the mesh outside of Blender and and back uh, without having to um, uh, do some weight painting. Uh, weight painting is the most uh, difficult task when you make a custom avatar and you need to to rig it and and transfer the weights uh, by uh, near nearest vertex and that's al always a bit messy and imprecise so you need to do a lot of cleaning up afterwards and I don't want to do that so uh, I'm I'm going to make sure to keep the vertex ordering of the mesh uh, apparently a mesh is written as a file vertex by vertex in a certain order in the order in which the the mesh was built originally or uh, when you edit it uh, you change that order that order so if if I manage to take this mesh out and back in without changing the order I will be able to use something called um, transfer weights by topology and uh, that means that uh, vertex m number one is going the, the w weights from vertex number one are going to be transferred to ver vertex number one of the mesh that I import and vertex number two and so on so f for for this experiment um, and in most cases actually I want to keep the eyes of the sensor avatar and the teeth and uh, also the nails so I, I just want to, ex to um, extract the skin so I need to um, separate it so I select it by uh, pressing L and press spacebar and separate by selection so now it's two objects one is uh, the, the eyes and the nails and the other object is the body uh, one thing to remember is that both have all the materials so on this object which doesn't have the head or the body I need to um, uh, press this icon here and uh, remove the head material and the body material and from the other mesh I right click it I click it uh, I want to keep the head and delete uh, the teeth the tongue eyeball eyelashes nails and keep only head and body and now with just this selected I export as OBJ to my desktop I need to uh, export selection selection only and then I uh, open 3d code in 3d code the first thing I want to, to do is to go to the sculpt room those are rooms uh, Retopo, Paint, Sculpt Rooms uh, and go to the Geometry menu each room has different menus and options and tools and, and th this one I'm looking for is in the Sculpt Room it's Edit Scene Scale that's because I'm using OBJ format I want the scene scale to be 100 
that's all I need to do here. I go to the retopal room. I want to check that symmetry is disabled. Uh, later I'll need the x-axis, but for now I want it disabled. Uh, because the uh, uh, actions you take with symmetry can easily um, destroy, disrupt uh, vertex ordering. And now from the Retopo menu I import the OBJ not the FBX, the OBJ and uh, it apl apply uh, there is nothing to step to so I uh, press this little icon to get closer so that's what the sensor template skin looks like in 3D code with the uh, materials uh, I'm going to do my editing in the sculpt room so in 3D code you have three spaces in which you have different meshes that have different purposes uh, different purpose and this is like the middle room the retopo room uh, I go to the, the sculpt space which is empty and in the geometry menu I take the retopo mesh as sculpt mesh so here is a copy of um, um, of that mesh and I'm going to uh, work on this first I'm going to select uh, the default skin shader and I need to adjust it uh, by um, right clicking on the layer and uh, edit sh shader settings uh, first there is the scale um, This is maybe still a bit too big. Uh, this looks fine. The bumpness uh, looks fine now, but once I bake it, it will be um, uh, too much. So I need to tone that down a lot. Maybe that's too much, but better too much than not enough. I'm going to change the color of uh, his skin to something weird, of course. And uh, also tone down the gloss because what appears a bit shiny here will appear a lot shinier in um, Sansar. Um, okay, that's it for the shader itself. And I can, since I'm in the sculpt space, um, well, let's first increase the resolution. Uh, it's 132,000 triangles. Uh, I'm going to turn on symmetry. I don't need to show the symmetry line. I could use like the general clay and make some changes. It's, it's already got some um, pointy ears. Let's uh, let's give him very. Uh, tiny um, horns. Uh, since I'm going to use the the sensor mesh, I'm not going to be adding any geometry. Uh, it, it can't it can't be like a big thing. It's just I can make s small changes.
uh, what about making it a bit um, uh, more um, how to say angular And also, I can't forget about um, a sensor oddity is that you have to have um, ample coverage. So I'm going to the paint room, and you notice that I see a mesh here, uh, but it's not the paint mesh, it's the uh, sculpt mesh that I'm seeing here because I can paint directly on the vertices um, there are not that many vertices so that can't be much detail but I could I could go higher in resolution and, and really paint fine details uh, I just want to uh, paint that ample coverage thing um, I just don't know what tools to use um, I chose the wrong alpha. And I should start at the symmetry line. It's very imprecise because of uh, so few vertices to paint on. I really must increase the resolution. So I don't know if that's ample enough.
maybe I could uh, give him some uh, some painting. Now I turn symmetry off, I go back to the retopole room and I take the brush, I uh, turn on symmetry and everywhere that I uh, made some changes I, I just simply left click to make it snap and I shift left click to relax you see you can see here that the, the, the retopo mesh is a bit above because I sculpted here so I just shift click a little bit here and there to try to make um, the shape fit better uh, something went wrong here it's a well it's it's got a weird nose uh, it's all right so here I need to to, to take some vertices away from their original location to bring them closer to this horn and of course the textures are going to be a bit distorted in that area but uh, for my purpose which is to keep the vertex ordering so as not to have to to do some weight painting I can't add any geometry I can't remove any so it's like a second life sculpty I just um, use the geometry available and make it fit Uh, now I turn off symmetry and I go to the bake menu and uh, bake normal uh, with normal map and the, the cage shows that's the outer shell it has to uh, be outside of the mesh nothing poking through and the same for the inner shell it has to be inside and here it's not so I can act either on the whole mesh or I can uh, I can brush to, to make uh, the, the, the vertices just in that area uh, move forward and all backward there's ghosting also or maybe yeah it's not wide enough okay so when I'm satisf satisfied I press OK and uh, I don't need big textures for a test I can leave all this alone and press OK 
now it's baking so there was already the retopo mesh, the sculpt mesh and now there is a, a, a paint mesh in the work space a, in different locations I hide the sculpt mesh and you see that I still see something and that now is the paint mesh so if I press W I see the wireframe so that, that's the same mesh as I had in the retopo room but now it's it's um, uh, uh, texture it's uh, yeah textured and it has ample coverage so I can export it as uh, OBJ and uh, here it's already selected but I need to select blender cycles so that the textures get assigned uh, in, in blender except for the reflection so it's now it's exported I go back to blender and I can hide this mesh because I don't oh you know I, I still need it I hand hide it I'll go to a different layer the layer 3 and uh, import the OBJ and what's very uh, um, very important is that I don't want to split the mesh and I want to keep vert order so I, I select this and also I don't need to um, have um, sharp edges around smooth groups and that's it so double click here and here is the mesh I, I took from 3D code with the little horns. I select, sh right click, select, select it. I shift two to show the other layer. I shift click on the armature and control P uh, to parent the mesh, uh, armature deform and uh, now I, s I select uh, the original I shift uh, 3 to go to the other layer and I sh select the new one with the little horns I control tab to go to weight paint mode and um, click on this little icon here to see the vertex groups I delete this one and in the tools here I click on transfer weights and usually you do this by vertex of uh, nearest vertex but the whole purpose of this thing was to show that uh, what happens when you do it by topology and I need to uh, click by name here and now I've got all the um, sensor bones uh, as vertex groups uh, I'll um, select just this new layer uh, press V and I uh, every single vertex got assigned to every single group uh, so I need to clean and clean all groups so that now when I shift click somewhere it only shows me the vertex groups that um, uh, modify this area 
and by doing this uh, I I don't have any I don't have any cleaning to do uh, everything is just where it should be w when you do uh, when you transfer weights by nearest vertex sometimes you get weights from this finger on the other one uh, and the the mouth area would be a whole mess uh, to clean up but in this case we, we just have um, the original sensor weights which have been moved down a bit here because I moved down the vertices but uh, it's the same weights so now shift 2 uh, no I already had it shift 2 uh, no I press 2 to go just to this layer I show the armature again I can right click the old mesh and press H to hide it I select the armature uh, select the the teeth and fingernails I press shift and 3 to show my other layer and shift select the mesh um, uh, now that it's active I also need to go to the materials I have the body and the head uh, in the body I need to add the metal map Uh, which one was it? The body? Uh, and I uncheck color and check mirror and I do the same for the head And now I'm all, all set. Export FBX desktop, and I have all my settings from from earlier. I go back to Sensor, where I have uh, my previous uh, upload with just the pointy te pointy ears, and I go to Import. and select my FBX I go to material settings I didn't change the the, the nails so I still need to tint them I should have taken them to 3D code if I wanted to to, to paint them uh, now the body has uh, the standard shader and uh, if I want to keep the nails intact and they're already decimated a lot so I do want to keep them intact what's left of them I need to select st standard plus alpha mask and even more so for the head because if I don't then the teeth will vanish because sensor will think that the teeth are just hidden and are not needed so they, they will be cold so I need to, s to have standard plus alpha mask even though there is no alpha mask on my texture uh, okay uh, I save the settings and import and we'll get uh, in a moment, hopefully, uh, our new custom avatar with ample coverage.
said at the start that I have uh, um, slow internet. That's why it's taking so long. And that's also why I uh, um, used uh, 1K textures to that it wouldn't take too long. So it's got uh, eight 1K textures to upload. Here we go. Custom avatar, little horns. Maybe I should have painted them a uh, different color. And ample coverage. So I wanted to test the teeth, uh, uh, I mean the, the mouth, so I, I did move some vertices in the corner and I, I was a bit concerned that uh, it wouldn't work as well, but it does. And once again, I repeat, without any weight cleaning, It still looks uh, quite a lot like the uh, default avatar, but ah, at least it's got some horns and pointy ears and a slightly different smile and some basic painting. So you take you, you could take this uh, a, a lot further and just. Uh, make something completely completely different so that's that's it I hope I said it, everything I, I needed to I hope it's useful to someone cheers